Hello, I'm live. I am here to bring you your 10 minute memory hack today. Um, we're just starting this series, very excited about it. My rock star customer service Avenger was the one who's like, you know, you do these videos all the time. Why not just do like 10 minute clips on memory hacks on how to improve your memory. So we're gonna start these here today. I'm super excited. Today we're gonna to talk about one lifestyle shift that can improve your memory forever. So I'm Julia Lundstrom. I'm a neuroscience and brain health educator, the owner of Simple Smart Science. And I'm just gonna walk you through this step by step as we go along. But today is probably my favorite one. I just got back from Tony Robbins Business Mastery um, business mastery session, I guess you call it, program. And it was five days intensive on how to grow and improve and create raving fans for your business. And it, we started around nine o'clock in the morning, didn't finish, the first night I don't think we finished till 12.30 at night with one break. And I think it was, actually that day was no breaks. The second and third day we had one break that was like half an hour. So if you wanted to go to the bathroom, if you wanted to eat, you actually had to go interrupt a session of somebody speaking or Tony speaking and go get your food and bring it back in. Now, I've never been to an event where people were literally running to the bathroom so that they could get back so they wouldn't have to miss anything. It was that remarkable. So we're talking about 65 to 70 hours over five days of learning about how to improve your business, how to work better with your employees, how to do all this stuff. So that brings me to our memory hack because one of the biggest things you can do forever for your cognition, for your balance, for your brain chemistry, for your memory is to constantly challenge yourself. Now, as you know, when we grow up, we're born, our learning curve is like this, right? We, till we're probably even 30, 25 to 30, we're learning every single day. We're learning about life, we're learning about social skills, we're learning about our jobs, school, education, um, other people, really, you know, everything is brand new to us. And then right around age 25, you know, our, our learning curve starts to slow down, and then we hit midlife and we have kids, and life becomes very repetitive, and we're doing the exact same thing every single day. And then we, you know, head into our later years. And we're really good at our jobs or we're really in our careers, and but it's kind of the same thing every day, even if it's a challenge every day. Like in my business, it's a challenge every single day, but it's kind of the same type of challenges every single day. And so then, you know, it starts to go down and down and down until you hit retirement, your, your older years, your golden years. And you're really, you know, the tendency of people is to just get up and do the exact same thing every single day day. And I see this over and over with people that I work with, my clients, my parents, they don't have enough variety in their life. And, and really it's more about challenging themselves. And, and I understand it's hard. You know, life gets busy. How are you going to go out and challenge yourself? But that is the best way to keep your cognition. So if you've ever heard of Dan Buettner, he is the one who created the Blue Zones. Those are, they're coined the term, there are six or seven zones around the planet where the average person lives longer than everybody else on the planet, so over 100 years old. It has the most amount of centurions concentrated in a space, and he has spent the better part of 30, 40 years studying what these people do differently than the rest of us that they live longer, healthier, and more vibrant, which is most important. We don't want to live long if we're sick, but healthy and vibrant lives well beyond 100. And I heard him speak not but a few weeks ago. I went and asked him afterwards. I said, Dan, listen, let, let's talk a little bit about this because I have a feeling that it is, you know, the health and the nutrition and the exercise and the social, everything that I talk so much about, but I think it's not putting the cart before the horse. If you talk about these people are constantly challenging themselves. They have, they're, they're varying their days. They're learning something new. They're improving their cognition all the time by learning something new. That is what is keeping them young and vibrant and healthy. And he completely agreed. 
So that's been a working theory of mine that I, I'm excited to test one day, but right now it really is so important. You know, he talks about a 105 year old that is building a fence on his property. Now that may not sound like very much, but actually building a fence is really hard. You have to plan, you have to strategize, you gotta buy the materials, you have to measure, measure, measure. You gotta, you know, do the design work on it. It's gotta be level. It's actually really difficult. And if you're 105, it is really going to give you that that extra challenge in using your brain in different ways than you're used to using it. So I encourage you, like this five days with Tony Robbins, I mean, he stretches you to the max anyway, but even just physically being present for that amount of time, for 65, 70 hours over five days was so challenging. I was challenging mentally and physically. I was exhausted, but he's a pro at making sure that you're in a peak state throughout his sessions so that you don't get tired, you know, and you're, you're up and you're vibrant. And, it, you know, you, I never once got tired throughout the whole five days, except for when I got home and I slept really well. But this is the thing. It was the biggest challenge I've had in my life when it comes to business and, and a lot of personal stuff, too came up for me and, and worked through it, my blockages, my limiting beliefs, things of that sort, but it stretched me. And it still stretches me here two weeks later as I'm implementing this, as I'm working with my team and getting them on board, as, as we're just trying to build the, the memory center. So if you think about, I want to improve my memory, you think Simple Smart Science, to have all the tools and resources for you to have great cognition and great memory into your you know, 115 if you want. So go challenge yourself. That is your one memory hack that will serve you for life. Now I'm not talking about if you play the piano learning a harder song. I'm talking about if you don't play the piano, go learn how to play the piano. If you never work with your hands, go work with your hands. Take a painting class. Do something out of your comfort zone. Do something you don't do every day. Because I know we just get stuck in this rut and we sit behind our computers or we're out there doing the exact same thing every single day and it never changes. We never stretch our brains and make us physically uncomfortable with a new challenge. That's what you need to keep young and sharp and stay active and really improve your memory. So what I'm going to ask you to do right now, go, go schedule it, go find something to do, book it, commit to it schedule it, get it in. If you don't schedule it, it does not happen. It has to get on a schedule. Plan it, commit, schedule, period. And follow through, do it. Even if it's, you know, my dad is great. He's 86. He used to go pick up military vets from the airport in Palm Springs and drive them wherever they needed to go. That was amazing. You know, he was challenging himself every day with navigation, with driving, meeting new people, social uh, he has stopped doing it, so I'm going to have to challenge him. If you're listening, Dad, I'm going to challenge you to do that again because it's amazing to get out there, have something that's going to really push you. Um, probably with the advent of Uber, it's not as necessary, but it was really cool when he did it. Um, he also took our dog when we were kids to the hospital. He was a hospital doggy, and he'd have him go you know, meet uh, patients and uh, make them feel better, You know, get involved in a program like that. AARP has an amazing program called Experience Core, where as an older person, you can go, an older meaning 55 plus, so not that old, very young actually, you can go and mentor a student. And we actually donate every single month to this program because it increases people's cognition and memories by 10% in just six months. And it increases the student's grades by 15% in just the same six months. So it shows you how much getting out there, stretching your mind, doing something different, challenging yourself. How much of a challenge would that be to like learn how to do math again, or I guess the new math that they're doing these days? Crazy. If you had to go do that again, if you had to teach somebody else, how much would that stretch you? So go find something that's going to give you that oomph and something different in your life. It's going to challenge your brain, grow new brain cells spark a better cognition, and really boost that memory. So get out there, go challenge yourself, and we'll see you in the next 10-minute hack.